hey guys welcome back to my channel today i just want to show you oh we're just going to do one garden bed today i just want to show you this particular bed um and it is in a shaded area you can see kind of all the trees in this area and i'm going to show you what i have planted here um okay over here in this area i have some amaranth it's not looking the best but it's growing um i took it out of this wheelbarrow over here and i potted it up and it's starting to grow nicely i need to put some fertilizer in it so that it can get a little greener and get a little nutrition and then grow okay over here i have a kiwi vine and I have another kiwi vine over on this side, but this is a kiwi vine here. I have some beans in this bed. This is a weed. I'm gonna pull this up. Y'all, I have so many weeds in my yard. I don't wanna use weed killer because I don't really, I don't like chemicals on my plants or just around my pollinators. I just don't. Um. So these are some bush beans and you can see some of them are starting to produce. I think you guys were with me when I planted those bush beans. This is a pepper bush. Here's another pepper bush. These are um, it's two pepper bushes. Actually, here's a third one. And it looks like I'm going to have to fertilize this bed because I have a lot of stuff in here. This is pineapple sage. You guys, this pineapple sage is so gorgeous. And when it flowers, it just has some of the prettiest red flowers. I kind of want to come out here and harvest it and just let it start regrowing because it's really loving this space. Over here I have, um, what is this, okra. And the okra's not getting as much sun as it needs over here, but I'm gonna try to cut a little hole in the trees over here to see if I can get a little more sunshine coming through so that my okra can grow um, more beans you see the beans starting to produce and I've actually been harvesting off of these beans here's another I have two more okra plants here okay and later today I am going to compost add some compost to this bed and also put some mulch on top of it to help it retain moisture and maybe that'll help it grow better okay behind me i have my pepper this is banana pepper more beans here i have a tomato beans oh these beans are getting pretty big you see that let me take that back <clears throat> they're getting pretty good a pretty good size I actually have enough beans to harvest and to put in one of my stir fries. I actually might come out here and harvest these beans and add them to the stir fries. With beans, the more you harvest, the more they'll produce. If you just leave your beans sitting and, and you don't harvest them, they'll stop producing. So I'm going to come out here and harvest these beans so that they keep producing. I have an okra plant in here, which needs a little more sunshine, but I'm gonna take care of that. Over here, I have another pepper plant. I'm not sure what kind of pepper it is. Time will tell. You guys see that little spider? Hi, little spider. I never get rid of my spiders because they help keep down pest pressure so i just allow them to live you can live here freely as long as you don't bother me this is the isis candy 
tomato plant. I have been harvesting off of this tomato. I bring my tomatoes in when they're ready because I don't trust the creatures that live in my yard. And I want to make sure I get some tomatoes too. So I'm coming back out here later on and I'm going to take those couple of tomatoes, probably throw it on a salad and be happy with that. Um, let's see what we got over here besides all of these weeds. <laughs> okay, my ginger is looking good. Ginger could use a little more sunlight as well, but I'm going to come over here, add more compost and more um, mulch to this bed. And this tomato plant is... Uh oh, I'm stepping on... Oh, wow, I didn't see the, the branch that had grown all the way over here. You guys see that worm? You see them? Can we focus in on them? Hold on. Let's see. You see that worm? Yeah, he thinks he's about to eat for free over here. But not in my house. You have to come off. You have to come off. Let's see. Okay, and what I do typically when I find worms on my produce or my leaves, I'll just throw it down and the birds will find them. Birds are really good at finding worms. Okay. So I'm going to come out here and stake this part of the tree up. And what else we got over here? Still have the nasturtiums growing. They're still holding on considering how hot and humid it's been. Maybe this is actually a good spot for them in the summer. You see one of them has some leaf uh, scald or burn from the sunlight. But this bed does not get a lot of sunlight so the nasturtiums might actually survive back here. Time will tell. All right, guys. That's all I wanted to show you today. I didn't want to make a long, drawn-out video. And I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to be working on today in this part of the garden. And until next time, my loves, peace.